Hello guys, welcome back to my channel where I talk about Japan, the jet program, my travel and experiences and so on. So if any of that interests you, click that subscribe button! Okay, that was weird. So I don't know if you watched last week's video, but to quickly update you, it's week two and my aircon is still broken. Catch me in the fridge right where the ice be. So I was looking at the Jet Program's FAQ page, looking for kind of topic ideas, get some inspiration for something to discuss. I ended up not reading the answers on the FAQ page because I thought it'd be interesting to go through those questions and answer them from my perspective as someone who is experiencing the JET program and then compare my answer to JET's kind of model answer and see kind of like where I disagree with the JET program and where my experience matches their frequently asked questions. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So the first question is what is the JET program? Which is a pretty big open question, but to be honest this is quite difficult to separate my answer from the model answer purely because when you're prepping for the interview for the JET program you ingrain into your mind so clearly what they're looking for and what how they would describe what is the JET program. But if I take a step back and like, you know, look back at my decision making and coming here and everything else at the end of the day, like, I feel like most of us apply to come here because it's Japan. It's an easy way to move to and live in Japan and experience just, just being here, you know? I didn't want to, like, spend all of my savings to come to Japan for two weeks and do a few touristy things, you know? I wanted to just be here for a while and the JET program's an easy way to do that. I enjoy teaching, but I ultimately don't really care about it. As I said, when you're preparing for the interview, you end up convincing yourself you're doing it because you're all about cultural exchange and blah 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 blah. And like that may well be the case for some of you, but I think for a lot of us, if we're being honest, you want to come to Japan. It's the easy way to do that. And I would recommend it to anyone who just wants to come to Japan for a bit, you know? However, I will say, since having come and started teaching, I do actually enjoy sharing my Scottish culture, especially with my classes. I really enjoy teaching them about Scotland and kind of seeing their reactions at the differences and stuff. That's always really cute. That is like something that the JET program is about, for sure, cultural exchange. But to me, that's like just a small part of it. Although I wouldn't recommend saying anything I just said in your interview if you're applying for the JET program or in your application. So JET's answer for this is the JET program is an expansive exchange program administered by the Ministry of Internal Affairs and Communications, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs from participating... Okay, so a whole bunch of places. The JET program aims to promote internationalization key word for your interviews and applications, internationalization, in Japan's local communities by improving foreign language education and fostering international exchange at the community level. Yeah, improving foreign language education is definitely something they're gunning for because they need help with that, that's for sure. So yeah, pretty much what I expected. Anyway, moving on, what kind of training and support is there for JET participants? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure that this will not be Jet's answer, but as far as I'm concerned, you get like the bare minimum training. And again, every situation is different, as you've heard a million times if you've, you know, looked into Jet or watched my videos. But like, you know, depending on the school you go to, the teachers will give you more or less guidance. It depends how they deal with their ALTs. And I know that each prefecture has their own like skills development conference and training things and stuff. But as far as my experience goes, those workshops and stuff are truly not that useful. And then when I rocked up to my school, they were just like, do whatever you want. But I'm like, I don't know how to teach. This is my first time teaching. Like, some guidance would be nice. I feel like because so many of the schools have varying levels of English and like so many different situations, you know, so many ALTs gather for one deve skills development conference and they can only really target information that will work for certain levels of English, usually mid to high level English. So a lot of the ideas they give and suggestions and ways to work and stuff, I'm like, it just, 
it wouldn't work at my school, so a lot of the information's irrelevant to me. And like with those conferences and stuff, you know, you take all your notes and you get all this paperwork and stuff, and then you go back to school and then all those notes most likely get binned. You go back to working as usual, because the JTEs are so busy, they, they're not interested in talking to you about completely restructuring the way you teach or anything. They're just like, let's just get it done. <laughs> So, yeah, honestly, like, the training is a bare minimum, as far as I'm concerned. Upon arriving in Japan, Jet Program participants attend a two-day training conference in Tokyo. After departing for the placements, most participants receive a more specialized orientation at the prefectural level. Most participants also take part in annual skills development training conferences. Claire, not a woman, organization, provides participants with various forms of support, including free online Japanese language courses, translate- Ah, okay. So the question said training and support, and although I've never looked into the support aspect of it very much, I do know that there is a lot of ways to get help when you need it actually, like you can contact your PA, I know that there's some online mental health service, I think, along with like a whole bunch of other things, and there is like a free Japanese language course you can take. I've heard it's bad, but... I mean, I've not taken it, so I don't want to say it is definitively. Okay, yeah, so maybe I'll change my answer to the, the training is bare minimum, but the support is, like, has a decent amount. And also just the JET community in general. You'll make so many connections with other ALTs, and when you need help or you're in a weird situation or whatever, there's always someone who can relate and who can advise, give you some advice, whether you post in a Facebook group or just talk to the people you know or whatever. So support is, is up there, I will say. I will say, yeah. Um, newsletter of useful information, mental health care, counseling service, careers fairs, and more. Yeah. Yep, there is lots of support, that's fair. Why is it called an exchange program? So to me, it's an exchange program because whether you're actively seeking cultural exchange or not, just by the nature of being here, you exchange cultures in one way or another. You absorb the culture, people will meet you and experience your culture in the way you talk and behave, and whether people like it or not, whether you like it or not, it doesn't matter, it's gonna be happening naturally. It's impossible to avoid it. I mean, I don't know why you would avoid it, to be honest. I imagine that if you're willing to move to the other side of the world, you know, you want to um, experience some of the culture. I really think when you're on a program like this, it's important to every now and then just reflect about your experiences here because sometimes you don't really realize how much of the culture you've absorbed until you look back. But Jet's answer is... Firstly, each participant in the Jet program brings their culture to a local community in Japan, helping to gain personal contact with the peoples of other countries. Secondly, each Jet program participant will learn a great deal about Japan, its language, I don't know if they can guarantee that in the answer. They say it like it's gonna happen, but like... It's very easy to not learn Japanese while you're here, let me tell you that. Um, it is expected that JET program participants will share what they learned with their family and friends upon returning home. Yeah, I mean, I guess these videos in a way are matching that in that, you know, this helps share my experience in Japan and my experience with the Japanese culture with the people back home who watch in another country. So yeah, I guess that, that answer is pretty matched up. So what is expected of JET participants? Okay, expectation. So again, depends on the school, but me and my experience and my responsibilities. Actually, I made a video literally not that long ago about my responsibilities as an ALT, so you can, um, I think here you can click here and watch that if you want, but to sum up, for me it's basically planning and teaching my lessons, which I think is most people, um, helping with speech contests on occasion, dealing with the English club, basic school responsibilities, whatever the school needs you to do, the occasional marking, grading, things like that. So let's see what JET says. The JET program participants are cultural ambassadors of their home countries, a role that expands beyond regular working hours. Ah, I should have foreseen this, because this is, again is something that you ingrain in your mind in the process of the application and stuff. Jet program participants must constantly be aware of their behavior and should make efforts to adapt to Japan's culture and their work environment. Jet program participants are expected to take an active role in the workplace and community, which may include staying late at school to help with club and sports activities, volunteering with local groups, and participating in community levels. I didn't think about the representing your country at all times thing, but to be honest, I don't think that's specific to Jet. I think because there's so few foreigners here, 
that any foreigners who come here should be aware of the fact that any interactions they have with Japanese people will stick with those Japanese people and that will in some cases be that person's perspective of foreigners after that interaction. So you should be mindful of that and not just act like an asshole while you're here and make Japanese people feel like all foreigners are assholes because people like that are the, the few that they've interacted with, you know? So I think that expands beyond a jet. That's expected, I think, of all foreigners. I hope, I hope. Also, the whole thing about engaging in local community activities and stuff, I think that's much more of a countryside vibe kind of thing where the communities are much more tight-knit. I feel like the more urban you go, the less of that is expected and, you know, people after school, they're gone and that's it. You go home, people so, actually, to be honest, the rest of the questions on the FAQ page are very specific with like right or wrong answers, very binary answers, so there's not really any point in me putting in my opinion there because it's either right or wrong. So maybe I'll leave it there. Do you agree with my answers or the Jets official website page answers? Comment below. Are there any other aspects of the Jet program that you want me to give like my take on? Because I have talked about the Jet program in a number of videos but often I feel like it's more informative and like advice for applications rather than just my perspective. So if there's some aspect that you specifically want my perspective on, then also let me know that. You can like DM me on Instagram or comment below again or whatever. Like, yeah, let me know, let me know. I'm gonna go back to wishing I was living in Antarctica. Bye.